Good evening and welcome to NAZ Today. I'm Aaron Granillo. And I'm Yesenia De Garcia. Thanks for joining us. Charges have been filed after an altercation at a party at the Grove Apartments on April 9th when someone pulled out a gun. 19-year-old Tyron Gooden was arrested and has been charged with disorderly conduct with a weapon and also drinking underage. Police reports show that it all happened after some racial slurs were shouted at some members at the party before a fight broke out. Reporter Drew Miller spoke with Sergeant Margaret Benson from the police department about the investigation. From party to problem, NAUPD and Flagstaff Police Department arrived at the Grove Apartments at 2.30 a.m. to break up a verbal argument between young people based on a report of a gun being flashed. Officers have to be trained to de-escalate. They have to be trained to um, acknowledge that something might be rapidly evolving. Uh, whenever there's a firearm, uh, any kind of dangerous instrument involved, the officers have to be aware of that, and the officer safety training is um, thorough throughout somebody's career. It's ongoing, it's constant. Our call was that the suspect had brandished this weapon, showed this weapon. When we got there, we didn't find anybody with a weapon on them, but we were able to search the vehicle that this person was in. That's where it was located. The arrests were made without further incidents. The Flagstaff Police Department would like to remind people when having a party, be respectful of neighbors, and if things get out of hand, police are always available to help. If you have an environment where you have a lack of guardianship, you have time and place, and then you have somebody that's not paying attention, you know, it's, it's a ripe environment for crimes to occur. So have a party, it's okay. Be responsible, yes. If it gets out of hand, call us. We'll help you with it. For NAZ Today News, I'm Drew Miller. Gooden has since been released from holding. Investigators say the gun found in the car was stolen in a burglary last December.